Welcome to Easy Learning, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. The topic is Similarity and Enlargement. So we are going to be looking at the introduction bit of Similarity and Enlargement. When we talk about uh, objects that are similar, what do we mean? So let's begin. So similar figures are figures. They can be two or more figures that have the ratios of the corresponding sides to be constant. So if you divide the different sides that you have from the figures that you have, they should give you the same ratio. They also, their corresponding angles also are similar. For example, if we look at this example of these two uh, triangles, First of all, we want to show that, for example, side QP is the same as XW, uh, this is W. So let's show that using the first, the first uh, property. So we we'll start with 18 divided by 6. Uh, this is by 6, 1, by 6, 3. And then when we go to the next sign is x centimeter over 5. And then finally we have the last is 24 over y. So if we look at the ratio, the answer to the ratio of the first side, that is uh, qp uh, xy. Remember this ratio, which is 3, is supposed to be the same for other cases. So that means if we want to get the value of x, we said PR, remember PR is equals to WY. That's the reason why we say x over 5 centimeters should give you the same ratio, which was 3. You can say it's 3 over 1. So when you cross multiply, to get 5 times 3 is equals to x, which gives you 15 centimeters the same case with the 24y it's going to be 24 divided by y is equals to 3 over 1 which gives us 3y is equals to 24 divided by 3 divided by 3 so y is equals to 8 so 8 centimeters so you see if you have the ratio of the sides that are similar you're able to get what you don't have you notice that the angles are also equal. As you can see, we have angle C in this triangle. We also have angle C in this triangle. Angle A and A are equal and angle B and B. So we say these two figures are similar just because they have uh, corresponding ratios uh, between them are equal and also the angles are equal. So if you look at also this example, Remember, we want to use this example to check if which of these triangles are equal. So first of all, you see this, we have this uh, direction, this direction, this direction. If you were to take it in both cases, you would say it is, uh, you take the bigger one, which is 15 over 2x divided by 3x should give you the same ratio if we take 15 um, if we if we take a uh, 5x over 2x which will give you the same ratio if we take 10x over 4x this is when you compare in the uh, object one triangle one and triangle two we were to compare triangle one and triangle three uh, this would mean 4.5 divided by 3x should give us the same ratio as 3 over 2x, which should give us the same ratio as 6 over 4x. So you notice if you pick the comparison of the first triangle and the second triangle, let's say for example the 10x over 4x. If you cancel out the x's by 4, 2, by, uh, by 2, 2, by 2, 5, you get 5 over 2. 
which is the same as, remember we have 5x over 2x, which is the same as 5 over 2. And when you look at 15 over 2x, uh, divide by 3x over 1, this is the same as 15 over 2x times 1 over 3 by 3, 1 by 3, 5. So you notice still we get 5 over 2 in this case. So you notice for triangle 1 and 2, they're actually similar triangles. So if you want to compare if these uh, two triangles are similar to the third, third one, remember this gave us a ratio of 5 over 2. So let's, let's see. So for the 4.5 over over 3x is supposed to give us 5 over 2. Uh, let's see if it gives us that 5 over 2. So uh, this is the same as 2 times 4.5 uh, is equals to 15x. So this is the same as if we divide by 15 both sides, uh, the value of x will be uh, 9 over 15 so by 3 3 by 3 5 so the value of x is going to be 3 over 5 so everywhere we have x in the first triangle you put 3 over 5 so when you compare 3 uh, 4.5 over 3x let's do that so it's 4.5 divided by 3 times 3 over 5 that is the same as 4.5 divided by 9 over 5 which is the same as 4.5 times 5 over 9 so this will give us uh, 22.5 divided by 9 which is the same as 2.5 this is 5 over 2 so you see it's the same ratio as before. So it tells you that triangle 1, 2, and 3 are all equal. So a final example, in this case, we are comparing the angles. So if we were to take triangle, this is triangle 1, this is 2, this is 3. So we will say that angle 30 is the same as angle 6 over 5x, as you can see, which is the same as 3y. So 30 um, is equal to 6 over 5x. So if you cross multiply, that will give us 30 times 5 is equal to 6x. That is 6. This is the same as 6x over 5. Or you can multiply by 5 over 6 both sides. This is the same as 5 times 30 divided by 6. So by 6, 1, by 6, 5, which gives you 25. So the value of x is equal to 25. So if we use x as 25 in the second uh, triangle, then 6, uh, five over, 6 over 5 times 25, this is 5, 1, by 5, 5, which gives us 30. So you see it's 30 like this angle is 30 this angle is that this tells you triangle one and two are equal if we still use the value of x as 25 in the third in the third angle remember the third angle is the the one that is equal to the others is the 3y so 30 is equals to 3y by 3 by 3 so y is equals to 10 so 3y will be 3 times 10, which gives us 30. So you can see this angle is 30, this angle is 30, this angle is 30. That tells you that these triangles are equal. You can check other angles and you will notice that these triangles are similar just because of the, how they are equal in their angles. So uh, you can check out more revision questions on the same, uh, the introduction bit of similarity and enlargement and see how if you can be able to figure out if you are given two triangles you can get one side given the side of the other triangles if they are similar and if you can be able to compare if these triangles are similar also uh, check out also the notes on the same in the app so see you in the next lesson